gotta get tired more than the person that's gotta hear the stuff that you tired about or the things that you keep saying that you gonna do, wanna do, can do, and you ain't doing shit. But this this part of this message from this point for this part is not just for anybody. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious and I ain't. You know the vibes. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad, it's, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Today's video, you guys, I just want to pick up from my previous upload, which was from the retreat. That retreat was actually about a month ago, but I just want to get in more in depth into you know what it was about and just a topic specifically that i found myself having with someone about a week or two ago so before we get into this video please make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel please make sure your bell is turned on for all post notifications so you get notified every time your girl upload a video like this video share my content click all the links down below in my description and make sure you are following me on my social media okay this retreat you guys was all about releasing you know negativity you know any doubts anything that you worried about um all procrastination and then refocusing so just realigning yourself with your next steps moving forward the future and you know change right so honestly this was something that I need it. I really needed this. I really needed to not just do it alone and try to figure out by myself, but you know, to have other people that don't know nothing about my life, but you know what I'm saying, they have way more knowledge than me, um, older than me. Were they older than me? I think they were older than me. I don't know if they was older than me or not. Age don't really matter in this situation, but you know, it was pretty much more so the knowledge and the advice that I was able to get and give. So first thing you did was release um one of the exercises that we used or did to help us release was the white plate the plate and you can also do it on a piece of paper you guys you don't have to use a plate you can do it on a piece of paper but basically you write down all the things that you want to release that you want to let go and then when you have the plate you break it and you really supposed to like after releasing those things to refocus you're really supposed to go through the process and the journey of releasing those things because some of those things that you write on that plate can be family members it can be friends it can be relationships it can be personal things um so yeah you really have to like you know put yourself through that journey and that process no one is going to hold your hand you know what i'm saying and do that for you so every now again we do like go into the group chat that we created and we'll check on each other and things like that um but you know when it comes to certain things in your life and especially depending on how tied your soul is to it it's not going to be very easy you know releasing those things but you know um if you do put it on a piece of paper, you can burn it, you can rip it. But I found myself like a week or two ago, like I mentioned early, earlier in this video, I had a conversation with someone, I'm not gonna really disclose any names or anything like that. Um, it was someone from the retreat though. And um, basically, she pretty much let, cause she recently got a tattoo. She, I'm not disclosing any names, but it's a she. She recently got this tattoo, you guys, and when she told me the idea, I was like, damn, that's very deep. And I don't think she even realized how deep it was until after the fact that she got the tattoo and she was looking at the tattoo like, damn, that's deep. So, um, it's the words for me. Like, the image definitely goes with the word, but it's the words for me. And the words was set me free, you know. And I think she realized, you know, she's not necessarily set free from things that she wants to be set free from so yeah you know we did that exercise with the plate and we broke it and it definitely did something for her um but again we're all human so when you go back to your normal lives it's all up to you to really go through that process and that journey of releasing so you know, we had this conversation. She really let me know, you know, there's things that she want to let go, be set free from. And she's kind of still trying to figure out 
honestly, what is it all? She knows some, but what is it all that she wants to be released from? So I feel like it was nece necessary for me to do this video because when I was giving her the advice, I was like, damn, Jay, that's some really good advice. Advice that I can take in for myself. Advice that she had appreciated me giving to her. And so I'm like, you know, you know I'm going to share with my plum squad. I'm pretty sure that someone out there that's watching this video whether it's now next week tomorrow next year next month it don't matter when it can be multiple times you know what i'm saying it could be somebody listening to you listening to me but i know that this message needs to get out there so what i want to say is i told her to write down on a piece of paper things that you want to release all the things that you want to let go and be set free from write it down either on the other side or the flip side or a whole new piece of paper I'm f write down things that you need to put more time into things that you need to do things that you want to do like those type things and take it day by day and look at this list all the time like have the list out especially if you live by yourself have it in on the mirror have put it on your pillow put it on your nightstand put it somewhere where you can see it every day every morning every day every night whether it's every minute every hour you're gonna i want you to be able to see it because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get tired of seeing especially the things Bo both of them you're gonna get tired of seeing both of them lists you're gonna get tired of seeing the things that you want to let go you're gonna get tired of seeing the things that you want to do you know what i'm saying because don't nobody get tired more than the person that's got to hear the stuff that you're tired about or the things that you keep saying that you're gonna do want to do can't do and you ain't doing shit so why not be the be the one be the one to put yourself in 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 that situation like damn I am so sick of being tired of this and why is this still on my paper? You want to start marking things out or you want to start putting check marks by it. You know what I mean? And then you look at your list of things that you want to do. Damn, I've been wanting to do that for three years, five years, ten years. I, you know, I could put so much time into this and shit, now it's been like three months, six months. Um, my point is you're going to get tired of looking at that list, right? So what you're going to do is the things that you're tired of the things that you want to release, the things that you want to let go, you're going to start filling in that void or you're going to start filling in that piece of whatever it is with something that you want to put more time into. So for example, if I'm tired of putting my time and my energy into someone that's not giving me the same energy and the same time, I'm going to replace or fill in the void with putting some time into something that I can be doing for myself, whether it's fitness, whether it's a new business, whether it's walking my dog, spending more time with my family, whatever it may be, you know? And that's kind of the advice that I gave to her. You guys, we gotta get more comfortable with, you know, knowing what we want. And I thought this part of the message, I thought that this part of the message would be for, you know, everybody but this this part of this message from this point for this part is not just for anybody this part is only for people that really know what they're what they want because we get it not we it gets to a certain point of time we get to a certain age where yo you need to know what the fuck you want you need to know what you're doing what you want do you need to know everything no but you need to know the basis you need to know if you want to be in a relationship you need to know if you want to be a thought box you need to know if you want to be a bum you need to know if you you need to know you need to know just the basis you need to know if you want to sleep in all day for the rest of your life you need to know if you want to wake up early in the morning and go get it you know what i'm saying you need to know if you want to be a hustler you, you need to know if you want to be a scammer you need to know those kind of things so with that being said, when you start to find out things that you want and things that you don't want, do not be afraid to voice it. I don't give a fuck. I don't care if it's voicing it to your partner. I don't care if it's voicing it to your best friend. I don't care if it's voicing it to your family, to your friends. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? You need to feel good about you voicing things that you will accept, things that you want to accept, things you like, things you don't like, things that you want, things that you don't want. You need to feel comfortable doing that, right? But whoever that you're voicing this stuff to, right? I want you to listen. Listen to what they have to say in response. 
because that that means a lot okay and first of all you it's, it starts with you you taking the first step to voice it and then it goes on to listening okay and then so for example let's say you're voicing something to your partner and your partner responds okay now it can either go two ways it can be like you know what we can do this or it can go okay the ball is in my court so this how i'm about to do things but if it comes to the decision of the ball being in your court then you need to go back to that list okay if anything that y'all discuss drops or is listed on the list of things that you're trying to let go and release and the ball is in your court you need to release you do okay but if it, if, if it, y'all talk about something and and it ends with the the conclusion of you know we're gonna work on it you can still go back to that list because i'm sure it's listed on that list and you can still scratch it off and release it like look now i made a list and what we talked about is something that i actually want to let go and i want to release and i want to be set free from so with your response you're letting me know that you're going to give me 50, I'm going to give you my 50, so this is something that we're going to work on. If somebody tells you, you guys, that they can only give you 10%, 25% of the 50 that you're asking, you know, do that shit by yourself. Because let me tell you something, I'm already giving myself 50. When I wake up in the morning, I'm showing up for myself. That's just, I'm, you know, 50%. I'm, I'm doing my part, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like when you involve other people into your lives... You know what I'm saying? And not necessarily to make you happy, but, you know, they are a part of that reason why you are. Or whatever the case may be. But at any given point of time, somebody tell you, look, babe, I can only give you this. I know you asking for 50, but I don't have 50 to give. I only have this to give. That is a sign from the Lord himself. That is him literally verbally speaking to you, okay? And you need to listen. And you need to treat it as so. Because if you know that you deserve more, then you need to give yourself more. And I had to literally get that message out because i at first i was gonna put it on my instagram story and i'm like you know what no this is so much worthy of just an instagram story and it's pretty lengthy too and i was like okay well make it an instagram post and i was like nah you know again it's pretty lengthy so i was like you know what this makes perfect sense to just bounce it back off from my retreat video um because again this is this is something that we went to the retreat for so for this person to still you know not feeling like they released they're not able to refocus and realign themselves so um i wanted to put that message out there you guys and um no it's not going to be easy the journey itself to just realign yourself with yourself is not easy and it does take some time but this is the thing nobody is gonna call you every day to make sure that you're doing what it is that you need to be doing or doing what you want to do what you should be doing if any of that makes sense i'm sure it does nobody's gonna do that right we are grown and if you ain't grown but you acting grown then you need to be grown okay so um you know, nobody's going to hold your hand. Nobody's going to call you every day. Nobody's going to babysit you. You have to take accountability mm, accountability of the things that will make you great, that, that will make you greater than what you were yesterday or the week before or the month before. And that's something that I love about myself. I learn new things about myself and I feel myself evolving so much and growing so much. And I love the journey. I love the process. Um, I love the growth and maturity all in all in itself. And it's a beautiful thing. So, you know, that's really why um, I have this thing with my YouTube channel because I can see. I can see everything that I need to see for myself within myself and um it's it's something that I just really really you know what I'm saying cherish and just how I move period 
you know I noticed the change I don't want this video to be too lengthy you guys I did want to put that message out there for you so I hope that you enjoy for the next few uploads you guys I got some voiceover videos coming up um definitely if you're looking for some reaction videos make sure you go to my j files reactions channel i have new reaction videos uploaded for you guys and um i miss you guys and i hope that you guys are doing great doing well hope you're having a great day i was gonna cuss but i'm you know i'm i'm breaking on that i'm breaking on that i hope you have a great day or a great night whichever one comes to you first i um hope you enjoyed this video and I am signing out to the next video. Peace. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm, I'm a different breed. It. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my hoe. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch.